What we're trying to do is take political journalists or journalists who already have the basic skills, so we don't need to go through how to cover a fire on deadline, we assume you know that already, and take you to a higher level of conceptual understanding of complex issues that you already are or should be covering as a political journalist. It's interdisciplinary and we have uh, experts and scholars from all sorts of disciplines. In the case of politics, we bring in people from political science, sociology, anthropology, law, economics, um, into the classroom, and we expose our students to those ideas from the research part of the university, and hopefully it encourages them to um, refresh their thinking, to think about problems, familiar problems in unfamiliar ways, and to build complexity and um, depth into their work. If you know how to write stories and you f you're in the early stages of your career, but you feel a little bit frustrated, a little bit stalled out, you want to be stretched, you want to be more ambitious, we're a really good place for you in that case. Mm -hmm. um, in the politics concentration, you have uh, a very intensive seminar um, with you know, a group of usually about 15 people, 16 people, uh, with Professor Steele in the fall, me in the spring, and we spend six hours a week together in the classroom. We get to know each other very well, and often we're meeting, emailing, et cetera, otherwise. One thing that I think is important to understand about the MA program is that a lot of the reading that students do is academic in nature, but all the writing that they do is journalistic. So what we're doing is we're exposing them to ideas like, for example, uh, what are the origins of the nation state? But the questions we're asking are journalistic in nature, so it should help you understand why Afghanistan or Iraq don't have the same kind of history of centralized state that certain European countries do, or why oil dependent states function the way that they do, so that you're, you're giving people tools to actually report stories. Well, it's interesting. I, I had a former student from two years ago who was just visiting my class, and when she was asked what she'd gotten out of the program, she said, I'm much more confident in identifying stories, in knowing how to do them, and advocating for those stories. I feel like I'm much more on much more solid ground. Um, so I think a lot of it is helping people in the, in the conceptual stage of stories, as well as, I hope, in the uh, writing and execution. I have my students write multiple drafts of every story and work on their uh, writing carefully um, and teach them how to uh, metabolize that revision process in their own work so that when they get out they can do that on their own rather than in the, um, you know, under the supervision of, a, of an academic program. The whole construct here is we're not here to say this is how political journalism is done kid and just follow the way it's already done. The construct is there's a better way to do political journalism than the standard way and we're going to prepare you to do that. And now that we've been doing the program for over 15 years, a whole bunch of the graduates are out doing that. We've got a real proof of concept. They're working all over the world at the very best news organizations and doing great work that's really above the standard level of political journalism.